Hello everyone. My name is Sumit Bhuvay and I welcome all of you to PISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solutions. Today I am going to introduce and explain you one of the most important piece of M Microsoft Dynamics CRM that is entity. So first let's understand what is an entity. Essentially they are used to model and manage business data. A few examples of entities are like accounts, campaign, contact, leads, opportunities etc. Each entity contains a set of attributes or fields and each attribute represents a data items. For example, this is an account entity and in this account entity we have account name, we have address, we have owner ID attribute. Conceptually an IT, an entity is like a database table and the entity attributes correspond to the tables columns. Creating an entity record in CRM is like adding a record in a database. Now let's move on to introduction to entity. So there are three types of entities or we can say that the entities are divided into three categories. First is system entity, second is business entity and third is custom entity. System entities are used by Microsoft CRM to handle all internal processes such as workflows. Remember that we cannot delete or customize system entities. Next we have business entity. So as a developer you will be working with business entity. Business entities are default entities within dynamic CRM and they appear in the customization user interface like we have accounts, cases and opportunities all these are business entities or they are examples of business entities. Lastly we have custom entities. Custom entities can be added to dynamic CRM to address the specific business needs of the organization. In dynamic CRM solution we can set business and custom entities and attributes to be either customization or non-customization. Let me show an example over here. So as you can see here this is the example of creating an entity. So as you can see here I have I'm creating a new entity over here. This is the definition. This is the name of the entity and I would like to set that this entity should be appear under which categories over here and uh, once the entity is created we can set the relationships with other entities, we can set business rules, we can add more fields, we can add charts and views and we can customize the forms of this particular entity. Now let me move on to dynamic CRM and demonstrate you how to create an entity in dynamic CRM and how to work on that entity. So for this let's log on to dynamic CRM. So as you can see here I have already logged in into my dynamic CRM and right now I am on sales. Now to create an entity you, you need to click on dynamic CRM icon over here. You, have, you need to hover over here your mouse over on this Microsoft dynamic CRM icon. From here you need to select settings. Click on settings. Then click on customize the system. As you can see here this is clearly mentioned that this it is if you want to create modify or delete components in your organization components include entities fields relationship forms reports process and others so I would like to do same I would like to create a new entity for my organization so I click on customize this system it will launch a new dialog box and in this screen or dialog box I will be going to create a new entity it may take some time to load it, it depends on your net speed. So as you can see here it has, my screen has launched it has opened. Now from here I click on entities and these are the predefined entities or already defined entities. Now I will I would like to create my own entity. 
or a new entity for my organization so I clicked on new again it will launch a new box or new screen and in that screen we will be going to enter the definitions entity definition so for example I would like to create an entity for collecting the customer information so I enter customer info this will be the plural name so customers info from here you can set what ownership would you like to assign for this entity organization or a particular user or a team so at present I am the owner you only user in this for this application for this organization so I am going to make it for to set the ownership as an organization if you want to set any image for your organization or for your entity you can select you can select an image from here so there is no image right now I set it for none if you want to add any description you can add a description over here now in this next section I will be going to select the areas under which I will I would like to display this entity so I would like to display this entity under sales as well as sales as well as marketing and then I click on save and I click on save it will be saving my entity once the entity is saved you will see the other options are highlighted they will be highlighted once it is saved so saving so once it is saved all the other options are highlighted now we can create we can set business rules or we can create relationship or we can set up a relationship we can add fields or design forms or add a chart from here but right now I'm simply going to publish it publish is must because once whatever changes we have done we would like to publish it for the whole application to make the changes in the application so once it is published I will be going to click on save and close and again I click on publish all customization but right now this entity is blank there are no fields in that that entity so now I would like to add some fields or I would like to customize my entity so from here I expand this entity section and from here then I will be going to look for the entity which I have created just now so you can see here this is the entity which we created just now customer info again I expand it and I click on forms this is to customize the forms or to design a form so as you can see here there are two default forms so I will be going to create a new form so I click on new and I will be going to click on main form so So you see here there is a default field basically as a name which is available with this form I would like to add more fields so there are predefined fields like created by modified by modified on status status reason if you want to use these fields if you want to display the data or display these fields onto your form you can drag and drop for example I simply drag and drop onto my form over here uh, we can design it you yeah, are created by now I would like to add new or if you do not want to use it I can simply remove it from here uh, select and remove. now I would like to add a new field for one for address one for telephone number so I click on new field and from here we can create a new field so this will be address or business address field requirement you would like to set it optional or you would like to set it for required so I set it for optional searchable yes or no so by default is searchable field security I'm not going to set any security right now so make it disable auditing is yes now what what type of data it is you have to set the data type so it will be a 
multiple line of text because I'm going to set it's a business address so we can enter multiple address over multiple lines over there what will be the maximum length it's 2000 and its IMI mode should be auto save and close so one field we have created and we can see that field has been added over here let's add one more field for phone number so again I clicked on new field and business phone I would this time I would like to make it set it as a required so I change I select the business required and from here I select single line of text field type will be simple and format will be phone maximum length is 20 and save and close so now you see you can see here we have two fields are we have created two customized field one for business address and one as a business phone and now we can drag and drop or add, we can add those fields onto our form one by one after another so once the fields are added I click on save and uh, click on publish publish and it's publishing customizations and once it is published once it is done click on save and close again click on publish all customization so once the customization is done I will be going to close this and you have to refresh your dynamic CRM to get the customization or to get the entity should be displayed or enabled on your application or in your organization so once the refresh is completed you can check whether the entity which you have created or which we have created is available to use or not so again I over my pointer on Microsoft Dynamics CRM logo click on sales and in sales at the end I will be going to go and check that there is a new extension has been added named as customer info this was, this was the name of our entity so I click on this customer info and uh, from here there is a new button I clicked on new button and you see we have got all the three fields which we have added into our entity name business address and phone and out of them name is required and business phone is required because we have set the phone as a required and name was required by default so I enter a customer name Sam Xavier business address and uh, is let's say New York and why and the business phone I will be going to enter business phone so plus one why whatever is the phone number and click on save and if you'll go to customer info we can see the one active customer info named as same Xavier so like this you can see how we can create an entity how to work on an entity what is an entity so that's all in this video. I hope you have gotten a clear idea about what is an entity and how to create an entity with Dynamics CRM. If you have any questions, if you have any issues, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and as well as you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com. For more interactive videos, keep watching our YouTube channel. That's all in this video. Have a nice day ahead. Good day.